Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to this, and in fact this, and in fact this as well, and in fact this. I don't have enough hands to show you all of these things, uh, but basically the idea of this video is to show you how you could use any one of these things to potentially save an elderly relative's life. Uh, here's how. So up first is Alexa and Google Home. Both of these devices are of course capable of making phone calls, but what if that person doesn't answer? Well that's where Ask My Buddy comes in. It is a service, uh, or a skill, whichever is your poison, for both of those devices. Uh, and the idea is that you can say, Alexa, ask my buddy to send for help, and it will message a whole network of people, not just one. And that's really cool, because if you have an elderly relative, usually there is more than one family member that has a concern for the elderly relative, uh, and they can use whichever device you have given them to make that call. The only issue you might find is it depends really on your relative's state of mind as to how capable they are of using that service. Uh, I know an awful lot of elderly people that say, Alexi, Alexi, why won't you listen to me, Alexi? Ah, uh, stupid machine. That's not really going to be a good thing if they're having a heart attack. Uh, and so I have come up with a couple of other ideas. I wanted to share them all with you though, so I do urge you to go out and give uh, that particular service a try, uh, and there is a link in the description to it, because it is actually really clever if your elderly relative is capable of remembering the phrase they need to say. Uh, if they can't, check this out. So this is the portion of the video where you're going to see the top of my head a lot as I look down at my phone. Uh, so I apologise in advance for my ignorance. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure you have installed Flick and that you have an account set up uh, and that you've connected the button to your account. Super easy, not going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you do want to see it though, I did it in my previous Flick video here. Uh, so I'm going to open up Flick. Uh, you'll be immediately presented with hubs or phone because they are releasing a hub. Uh, we are phone people, and so I'm going to put it into phone mode. And I'm going to click the flick button, which I've already labelled panic, uh, and I get a choice now of click, double click, or hold. And it's asking me to configure one of those things. Uh, this is the point where you ask your elderly parent or grandparent, which one are you most comfortable with, and which one are you not going to keep sitting on and bugging me in the middle of the night? Because that would get really annoying. Um, I'm going to select double click, because they're less likely to accidentally double click it, so they're only going to double click it when they absolutely want to. But you have that conversation with them. You know your grandparents better than me. I don't know them. Uh, then I'm going to go to communication. I'm going to go to share location. And what this will do is it will send a message with your actual location and whatever message you want to the designated contact. So the receiver, I'm going to click there. And I'm going to choose Paul because I want it to message Paul Hibbert. The additional text is optional. I'm going to write, help, I've pooped my pants. Because that's something I need help with a lot of the time. Uh, I'm then going to uh, go down and it asks me if I want a mode of address or a link or both. I'm going to select both and press save action. And that is it. If I now double click my flick, I should, in a moment, get a text message telling me the exact location of the flick button. So this means if you're a jogger and you're out and you're vulnerable and someone kidnaps you, you could even have this in your pocket and click it uh, and the message would be sent, and there it is, to say, help, I've pooped my pants and it gives me a link to the location and even the address and I can go and find uh, that person, hopefully. Um, that is as simple as it gets. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. If you want the free option, here's how you do it. So in order to do this for free, you'll need an Amazon Dash button. Uh, this thing is not technically free, you buy it for about the price of a tub of Olay. If you're a girl, which is sexist, so actually if you're a boy or a girl, unlike Olay. And when you press the button, it will order you one free tub of Olay, and then from then on, whenever you press it, it will actually charge you for a tub of Olay. Uh, what we do is we press it the first time we get our tub of Olay, technically then getting the button for free because we were going to buy Olay anyway. 
and then we factory reset the button and then we set the button up from scratch but this time when we press the button we don't finish the process and tell it what to order and what happens then is Amazon keeps telling us to our mobile phone you haven't turned the button yet, you haven't told us what to do with it and that is perfect because that message can be interrupted by some software called Dash Automation and Dash Automation its whole goal is to pick a notification up such as that and then do something with that notification off the back of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to press this plus button here, and I'm going to press my Olay button, and what you'll see is you'll get a little white flashing light for a few seconds, and then it will go red to say, it can't find anything, you haven't told me what to do. Notification appears on my phone, and Dash Automation has found it. You can see it there. I'm going to call this panic, and press save. And now it's asking me, and what do you then want to do when I receive that notification? So I'm going to say, send an SMS message, uh, add a telephone number, search contact by name, Paul. OK. And you can see I've got Paul Hibbert there. So I'm going to select Paul Hibbert and select Paul Hibbert's phone number because I want it to send an SMS to Paul Hibbert. SMS, I am here, GPS. That's great. You can change that if you want. Uh, I could write... Don't know why I would. Help. I've pooped my pants. That's <laughs> GPS. Uh, and then when I uh, press back to listening, I just go back to settings, just make sure it's definitely saved it has. Press that back button. Now, when I press my Olay button, it'll time out. I have to wait for the timeout, so there is a slight delay. But once the timeout occurs, which it just has done, I should get a notification to the phone. And Dash Automation sends a text message straight away to say, Hell, hell, I've pooped my pants at... And then when I click that location, it'll take me on Google Maps to the place where the person is suffering. Therefore, because this is connected to this, you could take this jogging, uh, you could take it anywhere you wanted, and you could use it to tell people where you were. Or, as discussed at the beginning of this video, you could give it to an elderly relative, put it wherever they're likely to be, and they can press it anytime there's trouble. Awesome! So in some vain attempt to please everybody, I'm going to let you know this isn't necessarily where it ends. Uh, if you're one of the people that hates me for some reason, and you're in my comments section going, Yeah, a text message won't wake me up, Paul is so stupid! Well, there are other ways to achieve what I've done today, and I have, in fact, already done tutorials on them. If you look uh, in the description for this video, I've linked you to both tutorials. One is for the flick button, and one is for the dash button, and those tutorials will show you how to connect those things to If This Then That, and with If This Then That, you can do pretty much anything. You could have a light shine in your face when the button is pressed. That ought to wake you up. You could have a siren blare in your face if that's what you really want to do. Uh, so that should hopefully please everybody. If it doesn't, screw you! Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you have. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And all of my funding pretty much comes from you guys because, well, YouTube hate me. Um, so if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. Uh, this week I've decided I'm going to show you how you can... what am I showing people? The rest of the family is there for you. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> Both have a skill slash service.